the hell does america and europe thinks they are today's video we have this white man who came on the internet to say that the leaders of west africa that are actually trying to push away from the western influence are literally dictators but yeah watch this clip come back and let's talk about it Yesterday, I discussed the assassination of Maxim Kuzminov. This assassination was most likely carried out by Unit 29155 of the GRU. The GRU is, of course, Russian military intelligence, and it's headed by General Andrei Avryanov. It was also doing a lot of work in Africa, where it was looking to extend the Russian Empire. He travelled first to Libya. He then travelled to Burkina Faso, where Russia is supporting the dictator Ibrahim Traore. He then travelled to the Central African Republic and finally to Mali, where you may remember there was a coup which threw out the French and has replaced the French with the Russians just last year. On a separate visit, he went to Niger. So you can see the way that the Wagner forces are being used to gradually build a new Russian empire in Africa. And they're often taking over mines which are used for gold or uranium or lithium mining. Shut up. Shut the hell up. Wait through. Who the hell does America and Europe think they are? The nurse. See, they started calling Libya Mohammed Gaddafi a detector. Until they called him a detector, till all of us started hurting him. And then they took him down. Just keep your mouth shut. You see, this person you're calling him a detector, 98 percent are in support of him. When Africa, we are suffering, it's okay. Europe and America and France, you people enjoy from our sweat and our tears. See, you see the pieces that, that has been left? The pieces that you people leave, we are picking it up. Africa is picking it up. The generation is picking it up. This generation we are in to the next generation, all the those that you people have been giving to us, we would retaliate it. It will be given back to you. So you people need to get prepared. You people need to get prepared. Nonsense. Say, the dictatorship. Who is he detecting for? The puppets that you people were stealing from? Is it what is called dictatorship? Or the people that are okay now? The people that are getting good uh, military services, better education and healthcare? Are they the ones that are telling you that he is detecting for them? Are the people complaining to you? Or whatever is in African land belongs to African children. It belongs to the people of Africa. The nerves that you people think that you can come and control us. Now, not long ago, this man was on television saying, hey, we have to go and take the imperial power back and this and this. I'm blaming those puppet leaders that they've thrown away their hearts and letting you people controlling them and making us suffering on our own land. Whatever that belongs to Africa, belongs to the children, belongs to the seed, belongs to the people of Africa, it does not belong to Europe and America. It does not belong to France. And this time around, we are picking ourselves. We will kick out all the puppet leaders one by one. We will come together and we will demand whatever is us. You see what? I don't even want these people to get reparation and everything because Africa still get 90% of our mineral resources, we got 90% of our human resources and we are picking ourselves back. We are picking ourselves back. So I know you people are getting prepared. And you know what? This generation, most of them are fooling, but the next generation, they are not going to take things easy with you people. I'm telling you, they are not going to take easy with you people. That you can think, sit down and think that you can detect for us. You are calling him dictatorship. You, does you people know what is called democracy? You go to, you invade people, steal from them, and then you people are making your people living better. And then the people on their own land are suffering. You don't call that one dictatorship. You destroy Syria. You do not call that one dictatorship. You destroy Libya. You do not call that one dictatorship. But this man is building us. He's fixing us and you're calling it dictatorship. The Western governments, especially the USA or European countries, every time they want to talk about Africa, it's always about the resources. It's never about you, the people. If you had what he had to say in his statements very clearly, it still went back to the resources in the continent. I love how the African sister had to like bring it all out because she got to understand and a lot of african people are getting to understand that these people only want to see us under them that now when we have these leaders like uh, the lead of Burkina Faso, Mr. Ibrahim, trying to push for the strength of African people and not being a puppet that they are used to 
then he's now a dictator then now they are uncomfortable then now it's a threat it's the same thing and the same game they used to make us hate the late Gaddafi I don't want to praise him that he was the best but considering the things that he wanted to do for the continent it was something that was really a threat to the western people so they had to find ways to make him evil to us it's the same thing that they did in my country Uganda where they portrayed our late leader Idi Amin Dada as this demon that never had to exist as this being that was never for anybody that was just selfish Gaddafi is very popular whether the people in the arab world in somewhere against him it is impossible like me here it is impossible we are ready put foundation stone of our uh, how strong we are in the world and the people understand and even i am still fighting for the whole black people all over the world in caribbeans in uh, negro americans all over the world which i am still fighting for them and they they respect me very much and very highly and they were taken to america as a slave slaves those people they did not want to to go there and this is their country but they were taken by force therefore nobody should remove them from there they must get independent in america and they must control the americans the black people in africa in america must be the president of the united states of america must be the secretary of state like kissinger they are more brilliant uh, than the dr kissinger kissinger is not very intelligent kissinger always go to the weakest leaders he never go to Gaddafi. he never come to general amin he fears us i have only come here for five minutes i have come as a president of the Republic of Uganda and also I am speaking as a great man who is the conqueror of the British Empire. <laughs> I wanted to confirm to you I have I have liberated my country economically and uh, I am economically strong and that is why I said I uprooted the British imperialism from Uganda and Uganda is now pure Africa. We Africa, we have been weak because we allow ourselves, our brothers to go and uh, invite some country. But if the whole country in the continent of Africa can show an excellent example like uh, our beloved leader, His Majesty the King Hassan of Morocco, assisting, assisting, assisting President Mobutu when he is uh, uh, invaded. This is uh, some point which Africa can prevent to bring in the, uh, the, 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 the other troops from outside. But uh, some other country have been forced to get uh, European forces into Africa because they tried to ask some African country they don't want. Some African country were the one who are confusing ourselves because we train gorillas against our country. We, uh, we, we force government to be in that. We want that particular liberation uh, leader to be the president of that particular country and that have complicated everything in Africa. But then now when you look back and see the things that Ida Mindada was fighting for, was thriving for, is things that benefited a lot of African people. You get to see that he even sent a Ugandan army to go and help South Africa in apartheid. Those are things that they didn't want us to see that we have this brotherhood within us that we even helped our african brothers and sisters to fight for our freedom that we actually somehow got a little bit and so looking at these people that they are calling the same leaders that are trying to get away from their influence dictators speaks volumes every time the western media the western people put the word dictator on any african leader he's the right leader every time they are praising a certain leader in africa 
those are their puppets. When you look into the history of African leaders, those that were called dictators were the ones that were fighting for the freedom of us as a people today. We need to acknowledge and understand the Western media, the Western governments will never come and support a leader that is for the African people. So when you see this kind of people like this white man trying to portray these leaders that are pushing and chasing away the Western influence as dictators, it speaks volumes on how threatened they are for us to get good leaders. But this is the time for us to stand with those that actually show that they are for the African people. We cannot let this propaganda work anymore. These are the same people like my sister said that go and sponsor wars in other countries, in other nations, but they don't see that as dictatorship. They do not see themselves as evil. When you look into the world, it's mostly the Western worlds, the Western governments that have committed the worst and the biggest kind of massacres to different nations, but they still see themselves as innocent. They still see themselves as saviors. They still see themselves as the biggest in democracy. They don't see themselves as dictators. No, they don't. Like the way they are so easy to come and dictate to us and tell us what to do in our own continent, on our own resources. That is dictatorship and entitlement. They do not see that as such, you know. And because we are now starting to wake up as African people, you saw what the African sister had to say. Everything that belongs to Africa is for Africans. Everything that is in the continent is for African people. And it's actually more disturbing that we have like people like this. These are African partners understand understand that we're here to help them reach their overall uh, national goals of stability and security. But when we bring our assurance actions and our African campaign plan, there's a number of things uh, by Russia and China uh, that are uh, pushing and shaping uh, onto our African partners, especially across their society, that changes ways and a departure away from international norms. Ch uh, excuse me, the PRC and Russia are also remaining exploitative uh, where possible and coercive when necessary. They want that ground. They want power projection capabilities. So for the most part, uh, the rest of the continent uh, is also for mining concessions, whether it be gold or rare earth minerals. Both of them have a long range plan. That is a black man and he actually looks forced. You know, when you say things and you're actually forced to say those things because maybe somehow you need something from these people. This is what I also talk about. The people that have also helped in taking down our strong leaders are people that look like us. Because when you see this black man who should be with us fighting for freedom as black people, also siding with the same people that have been oppressing us and not seeing through the lines, shows and speaks volumes to the people that we also have in our community. It's really disappointing. I really like that African people are waking up to the reality that at this point in time in 2024, it's no longer the fault of white people to come in the continent and take our resources. It's us to know and support the puppets that we have in the continent and we should push to take one by one away from power because if West Africa is doing it, we in other African countries should start doing the same thing if we need to see Africa grow. The more divided we are, the more we are in chaos, the more uh, we are in this situation that is not okay, they benefit. So they love to see us divided and united and until Africa or as black people come together and really talk about the things that we need to fix, nothing is going to change. So it's our time now to break barriers, to change things. We need to put the same spirit to the young generation because if we are the foundation, then the new generation will be a strong force that will fight for the continent. It's our time now to change things, to start fixing ourselves as a people and stress the right people. It's no longer these people because they are going to always keep coming in no matter when no matter how but the energy has to be here with these people that look like us to do better for us because when they do like how west africa is doing it creates a threat for the western people so they will do anything anything to stay in power what are you africans or black people doing that should be the question. But yeah, I mean, this is my rant, as always. <laughs> yeah, guys, that is it for me in the video. I could go on and on and on. But I mean, what more can I say? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.